Hey everyone, welcome to Bite Sector. As you all know or may know, March 31st is World Backup Day, so we decided to make March a month about storage because that just seems very appropriate. So, kicking things off today, we will be touching on our very first product. It's interesting because it pushes the boundaries of what is possible. So, if you're interested, if you want to know more, tune in on the other side of the intro. Not so long ago, when you thought about external portable storage for your laptop or your desktop, you were talking about one of these. A two and a half inch external hard drive that connected via USB to your computer. On the back of the drive, a mini B connector using a type A connector to connect to the computer. Five years ago, two and a half inch drives just couldn't pack in the performance. You were talking about 60 megabytes a second max. And you know what? We all lived with it, but why should we have to just live with something? Today, we have something new, something robust, something modern to offer in the external portable storage space, and that is external SSDs. USB Type-C SSDs are the next phase of portable mass storage. And as you know, two and a half inch drives max out at two terabytes these days. So you have a challenge here. Two terabytes is the maximum you can cart around. Well, the people over at SanDisk has, have come up with a solution and that is let's make the highest performance external SSD storage we can at capacity. So they did this in two phases. First phase was to introduce the SanDisk Extreme Pro version two. Worth noting, there is a version one. Version one operates at half the speeds. Version two offers you up to two gigabytes a second, or 2000 megabytes a second if you wanna be entirely accurate. 2000 megabytes a second of read and write speeds to this. It's incredible. 2,000 megabytes a second. There was a time, not so long ago, where 2,000 megabytes a second read-write to an internal SSD, NVMe, would have been incredible. And now we're talking about it as a portable storage. How does it work? It uses USB 3.2 Gen 2x2, or 2x2, whatever you want to call it, to use, that, use the full potential of that 20 gigabit link. Our model is a 2 terabyte model challenge. Didn't we just say that's the limitation of the existing hard drives? Yes. But this is where SanDisk's phase two came in and it went into full effect at CES 2021 when they announced a four terabyte model of this exact same SSD. Four terabytes in your pocket weighing just a few grams really and offering two gigabytes a second read-write. I mean, no-brainer, right? Now, some of you might be wondering, like I wondered, what's the use case for an external portable storage these days that isn't just a USB thumb drive, right? Well, I gave it a lot of thought and came up with what I think is the best set of use cases for something like this. Use case number one. If you're on the road and you need external storage because there's just not enough storage in your laptop to, to pack it all in, an external hard drive is going to be the fastest and most reliable way of copying and backing up that data. Sure, thumb drives exist. Sure, we all use them. But the capacity of this, the size and the speed kind of make you wonder why you need a thumb drive to begin with. Use case number two. You're on vacation, you're taking photos, videos, drone footage, GoPro footage, whatever else. I can tell you, your laptop probably isn't gonna store it all. So let's talk specs. Top of mind, 2000 megabytes a second read write to this drive. It uses USB 3.2 Gen 2x2 as its connectivity medium to achieve that speed. It sports IP55 
water and dust resistance, which means it can take a splash without you having to worry about it, you know, short circuiting or frying your data. It can be bumped around. It can be exposed to some dust without having to worry about losing your data or having to worry about data recovery. It comes with a five year limited warranty, five years. In the hard drive SSD space, you don't get five year warranties unless you go with the prosumer versions of products. So that's really, really nice to see. What else? One, two and four terabyte capacities. You choose, you pick, you never need to worry about what the right size is because they've got you covered and it does start to exceed the sizes available from hard drive, external hard drives. Excellent. In the box, you're gonna get the drive, a USB Type-C to Type-C cable, and a USB Type-C to Type-A cable, and then of course your warranty card. So they've got you covered on your connectivity. You never have to worry about whether you're connecting to a computer that has a Type-C port. Does the SanDisk Extreme Pro version 2 live up to its 2000 megabytes a second read-write claims? There's only one way to find out and we did it. We benchmarked the crap out of this drive and we're gonna bring you those benchmarks in just a second. But first, I'd like to ask you to subscribe to Byte Sector down below. Hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so that you get notified when we release a new video and just become a part of our community and our team. So let's get into the benchmarks. First up, the Crystal Disk Mark VI sequential speeds. As you can see here, we get a blazing fast 1932 megabytes write and 1956 megabytes read, which is bang on spec and claims. With the Crystal Disk Mark VI random 4K IOPS, we see IOPS in the read 4K of over 100,000 and 70,409 for write 4K IOPS, which compared to an internal SSD doesn't compare, but for external SSDs just blows me away. The SciSoft Sandra Drive Score. Again, we see it at 1969.77, which is bang on what you'd expect. Compare that to the Extreme version 1, which is, you know, claimed read-write speeds of up to 550 megabytes, you've got a score of 529. Not internal SSD, but damn close. For our raw file copy speeds and times, we copy a 69.7 gigabyte file. Here you see it took 80.52 seconds, which, not bad. It's a, a full like 29 seconds slower than an internal NVMe SSD, but you know what? It's external, it's to be expected. We saw a peak write speed in Windows of 954 megabytes a second, which was slower than expected and certainly not representative of what we saw in the synthetic benchmarks, but very respectable for real world performance. Lastly, if you wanna use this as a game drive, who wouldn't, right? We did some benchmarks and look at that. Like faster to load World of Warships than an internal NVMe SSD and faster for World of Tanks. Significant improvements on Warships, minor improvements on Tanks, but to get comparable, even comparable performance from an external drive is just mind blowing. These benchmarks certainly impressed me. So where does that leave us? Well, on the surface, and even in our benchmarks, the SanDisk Extreme Pro version 2 really, really stands out and shines. I'm impressed. But there is a critical flaw with this drive, and any drive that uses USB 3.2 Gen 2x2. And that is, good luck finding a system with that interface on it. Even the latest AMD and Intel chipsets do not natively support 3.2 Gen 2x2. So maybe you buy this drive knowing that in the next 12 months, you're gonna buy a new laptop and maybe that new laptop has a new interface on it because we are expecting new chipsets. We are expecting new processors from both AMD and Intel. The last thing that I wanted to touch on here is kind of, you know, a big one. You're probably all thinking, 
Well, it's great. It offers top tier specs. The build quality is amazing. The warranty's there. The benchmarks support it all. But how much is it gonna cost me? Well, the one terabyte model is gonna set you back 229 US dollars. The two terabyte, which we're packing here, is 350 US dollars. And then if you're really into that four terabyte model, it's gonna set you back a good 900 US dollars. Now that's, that, that one's a harder sell for me. But the 350 price point is a sweet spot because if you look at what you're gonna spend on a two terabyte internal NVMe SSD, the premium here to go external is only about $30. You're spending about 320 bucks to get an internal two terabyte NVMe SSD. And for the 30 bucks more, you're talking about portability with very little sacrifice on speed. So, with all that said, do I recommend it? I'd say it's a solid drive. Honestly, it's got a premium feel. It fits in my hand, it fits in my pocket, it fits in my camera bag very nicely. I will be using this drive regularly. Do I have a laptop to use it on? Nothing that's gonna max out its potential today. But I am hopeful for tomorrow. I know the 3.2 Gen 2x2 is coming to all platforms. If it doesn't, then USB 4 will come to platforms first. And USB 4 will only double the bandwidth, making sure that you can take full advantage of the 20 gigabits that this is capable of. So, if you have 350 bucks lying around that you desperately want to sink into external SSD storage, look no further. The SanDisk Extreme Pro version 2 is the one for you. Anyways, guys, have a great day. Don't forget to hit subscribe, follow us on Twitter, follow us on Facebook, LinkedIn, on Instagram, we're everywhere. We'd love to hear from you. Have a great day.